Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Welcome back, Yodlers. We are the Matterhorn Yodlers. I'm your host, Jackie, and we have... Peter. And, and it is <laughs> fall, Halloween time. It's time to get your pumpkin spice drink, your warm, cozy sweaters, even if it's a hundred degrees out. I don't think you could ever go to a Disney park and wear a scarf in the fall. It's just not cold enough. Even in LA. Yeah. Florida. LA or Florida, yeah. Next the scarf. Don't wear it. I know. It. It's, Don't it's, be that person. <laughs> it's funny because I was talking to my wife because we were planning a, a trip to Disney World next year. And she's all like, because we were talking about options. Like, yeah, they got the water park. We got pools and things like that. And she's all like, is it going to be too cold? And I'm like, and Florida? Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> probably wouldn't go swimming in October. I would probably be. I mean, it just depends on the day. Yeah. And, yeah, Florida is interesting with their weather. It yes. can be cold, it can be hot, but... I mean, in California, we went, what, three or four years ago, and they had those fires, and it was like 100 degrees, like, late October. I remember just like, <laughs> so hot here. Why? <laughs> it's hotter here than it is where we're from. This is not fair. <laughs> but you know what? Still wear your Ugg boots. Still drink your pumpkin spice lattes, because it's Halloween time at... Disney it is probably one of the most favorite time of years that guests go on. October used to be like the prime time to go to a Disney park. It was park. the secret time where you're like, shh, no one goes. No, no one, one goes. goes. Everyone's at school. But then Disney, full force. It's the, it's the internet ruined it. Internet ruined it, and then Disney doubled down on Halloween. Yes. Yeah. It used to be like two days they had a Halloween party. Yes. And now it's like, now they do Halloween parties starting in August. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's October and Halloween time. They are decked out in decorations. I love the de fall decorations. Like, in Disney World, you've got like the scarecrows dressed up and little... The Mickey scarecrows. You yes. have the pumpkins along Main Street. Yes, with the fall leaves I love the window it. the window decorations on Main Street. What do they do for the decorations? They just... They're, they're all like fall and Halloween themed. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I every holiday that. they change the window decorations. Like whether it be 4th yeah. of July, Christmas, spring. Like they literally changed the yeah, windows, they did, displays out. They did a one day at Disney. Yes, they did. With the person who does it. Oh. So. I gotta catch that episode. Catch that episode. It's really good. Um, yeah, so it's got that decorative um, feeling all around. And, you know, Haunted Mansion at Disneyland is changed to yes. Nightmare Before Christmas where like Nightmare Before Christmas is now a Halloween Christmas overlay. Overlay. So quick quick poll. Like it, don't like it. Love it. I love it more you than Haunted it. Mansion. Blasphemy. I like it, but I think it goes on too long. Okay. I don't like it, but I don't like Nightmare Before Christmas. Like I think I think an appropriate time period would be maybe mid October to December. But now they have it open and up in August and it's just they like do it in August they do now? it in August yes. now. So you only get regular haunted mansion for half the year. That's garbage. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> at Disneyland. At Disneyland. Haunted uh, Haunted Mansion at Disney World. They do not. They do not do anything. Because when I was there the guy who was in charge of Oh, Magic Kingdom. He was there opening day working at Haunted Mansion. And he was like, we were not doing overlays here. Nope. And he's like, no, because we have new people coming to Disney World, experiencing Disney for the first time. Yeah. Where they don't need an overlay of something that they have never seen. It's true. Disneyland is more of a pass holder park. It's a, local a lot park. of locals go to it. Disney World, a lot of international individuals go to it. Lots of East Coast. A lot of, yeah. It's like a once in a lifetime sort of trip. And so to 
overlay an attraction, especially a classic Disney attraction, um, would definitely hinder a lot of people's opinions because they would just be like, I want to see classic. Yeah. You get a lot of people from like England. When I was over there, like yes. a vacation thing, they're like, oh, we're from all the U.S. Like, oh, I went to Florida. And I was like, did you go to Disney World? Oh, yeah, everybody went to Disney and World. And people <laughs> from, you know, most people that are coming from England are there for two weeks at least. Oh, yeah. Staying on property. Well, when you travel to the other side of the world. Oh, yes. You don't, it's not a short trip. You, you have to make it long because it's, yes. otherwise you're just going to be jet lagged the entire time. Right. It always took me like a, like a week. It's about a week. Over the jet lag. Yes. It's about a week when you travel that much. But, I don't know. I love Halloween at Disney. I love it's the fun. feel of it. They always have special treats. Like, obviously, everything pumpkin. But they always have, like, Nightmare Before Christmas, like, overlays on desserts. And, like, coffins on, like, brownies. And it's, like, Sally. And they also have, like different meet and greets with characters like you can meet like Jack and Sally in the day Jack meet and greet are you guys freaked out like he's like some like gray alien like every time I see him like can never get his character right it looks horrible sorry I'm like poo pooing <laughs> on everything but like that's the one where like really that's that's the closest you can get with Jack he, it's difficult doing a skeleton head yes. that's for sure and they have him talking, and it's like, this is weird. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. He's got yeah. a chin, and he's like, well, I can't. That's just, it's, Sally's great. Jack's like, oh, gosh. Just put the head on and just leave it. Don't but I would say that meet and greet is probably the most popular meet and greet in, around Halloween You know time. what would be? Ichabod Crane. Yeah, that would be a fun one to see, where you just see him eating pies. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's just like randomly at different restaurants. Just like, eat, come by and eat your pie. And you're like, oh, there goes Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I paid thirty dollars for that pie. <laughs> oh, tips is that and just a little try tip. Oh, so, what other things would you want to like see more of Halloween at a Disney park? Um. Well, one thing that they've been doing recently are the the uh, the Dapper Dans are now uh, oh, shoot. What are they called now? Oh, um, they they are rethemed and they're more oh. um, Dreadful Davids. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, I forget the, the what they're called. So what now. do they do? But they, they just sing Halloween songs. Oh, wow. But they they're dressed up in like they're like kind of like what the Haunted Mansion guests uh, cast members wear and. For the Halloween party, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like the skeleton makeup, and so they just sing uh, Halloween tunes and um, at Disneyland, and I think even at Magic Kingdom, uh, they're just like on one of the the rafts that go around um, the island, the Tom Sawyer Island, yeah. the Pirate's Lair Island, and they just kind of they're mic'd up, and so they're just kind of floating <laughs> out there singing <laughs> Halloween music and cadaver the, dance, uh, cadaver dance, cadaver dance, cadaver dance, yes. Yeah. So that that's kind of fun. Like when they introduced that, that was kind of a fun addition that I I've, I've enjoyed footage of. Yet I I haven't seen in person, but the the footage of it's cool. But I do have to say, like you were saying, like Disney has changed how they've approached Halloween in the parks because we used to go in like the early two thousands regularly in October. Always in October. Always, Always October. October. And it was, empty. it was empty, cooler, but not yes. too cold. Yes, and it was just it was just fun, and like the theming wasn't there. And then when we worked there, I was like, oh wow, they're stepping it up. And then I went again, like within the last three years, it was. I mean, they actually it's like Christmas. They set it up just for that. It's yes. Universal. Universal was the reason why that started happening because that's when Universal started doing their Halloween Horror Nights. <sighs> Which became crazy big deal. Very so big. Disney's like, how can we cash in on it? We can't really do too scary. And that's when they came out with Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party. Yeah. And so Disney does a Halloween party at Disney World and at Disneyland. Now at Disneyland. They didn't, they had, they didn't do that for a while. Not Disney for a Land. while. Just because... They weren't sure how well it would do. And they I think. did do it when we were growing up. They had it. It was only a couple nights. They were trying to 
Because I remember we were just going, like, we had a plan, we're like, well, they're doing the party, okay, let's go to California Adventure, because yeah, we're, our half our day is gone from doing that. Yeah, and... Yeah, so at Disney World, I would say that was, like, before, because my opinion has changed. Uh, How so? So... You know, you would say, Disney World, Disneyland, which Halloween party is better? And most people would say Disney World, because it's got the boot to you parade. They don't have that at Disney World? No, it's different. <gasps> but... That parade is bomb. Right. So, at Disney World, it's Halloween party. It usually starts about 6 o'clock. Yep. That's at, when they start. Yeah, they 6 get o'clock. Out. But usually, if you buy... And the Disney Halloween party is a separate ticket event. You have to pay extra for this event, and they will usually let you in about 4 o'clock. So, o'clock so two hours in. before the actual party starts, so it's kind of nice because you can maybe ride some rides, meet some characters, eat some food before well, the party starts. Even, hey, and even if like you want to just ride rides... Halloween party is a perfect opportunity to because nobody's in line for the rides. It is... It's true. true. Most of the individuals that go to the Halloween party are there for the events. The, the events and the meet and greets. And a lot of them are pass holders or locals that are, they've done all the rides, so it's not a priority. Yeah. And you have people there that just want to be seen. They show off their, their cosplay. People dress up. Oh, yes. And that's another thing. So at the Disney Halloween parties... Adults can dress up in costumes, which is great because Disney brings in, you know, that family event, you know, of being a kid again. And a lot of people go all in into their costumes. I've seen. Yeah. You know, people will make this like their year long project of gathering their costume together. And let's make a note this is the only time where a an adult. Like an adult guest can come into the park with a costume because yes. if you try to do it outside of this party, Yo, they will meet you at the gate. Do you remember when we went in? For the wedding. For the wedding? Mm -hmm. And like they met us as we were putting our tickets in. They like spotted us. Like they were watching us as we were getting Before off the we monorail. Into the park. Yeah. Before we get into the park, they will like find you. And I remember there was a lady who wore a Snow White outfit. Like, she went into the, like, she knew about the policy. She went into the bathroom, changed over, and she started walking around acting like Snow White. And, yeah, you get some crazies out there. And security was on her within, like, a couple minutes going, Ma'am, you need to change back. This isn't appropriate. So, this is the only time sane and insane people can wear a <laughs> costume at the park. So, let me put that out there. The only time. And so, these costumes are huge. And beautiful. I would Some say more, yeah. yes. going to the park alone and just looking at People all the watching. costumes. People watching is amazing during the Halloween party. And they, they do a yes. whole family coordination of like a movie and it's so fun to see that like family dressing up together. That was my favorite part of working those shifts in the park was like looking at the costumes and like oh you guys did it. You guys knocked it out of the park. Just giving compliments and even if their costume wasn't good, just, like, they're proud of it, and it kind of was, like, it was fun to see the joy. Yep. Everyone's happy. Yes. I rarely yes. had an angry guest during that time period, and that was, like, <laughs> that was well, awesome. Well, when they're in the park. <laughs> yeah, I dealt with the them. Yeah. Outside. Outside. Yeah, which... in the park, it was great. For once, <laughs> no one's screaming at me about any, like, privileges or they've been done wrong. If they were, like, if they were unhappy, I would just be like, here's a big giant bag of candy. Here you go. <laughs> like, no one's monitoring how much I'm giving away. Here you go. And they're like, well, thanks. And that I got brings... $3 for the candy, and I'm super happy. And that brings up another activity that you do at the Halloween party, which is trick-or-treating. Which, as an adult, you really don't trick-or-treat unless you're with your kid, maybe. But you don't personally get candy. People look at you weird when you're 30 years old, <laughs> trick-or-treating by yourself. And they're like, where's your kid? And you're like, I don't have kids. <laughs> so, That's when you come up with a story that he's in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, I mean, for me going as a guest to the Halloween party and trick-or-treating, it's fun. You know, of course I could just go to the store and buy a big bag of candy, but it's kind of fun just to get free candy. And the candy's not horrible. You get, like, your Smarty-type candies, and then you have, like, your Snickers and Reese's there. So that was, like, when I was... No store brand. No, yeah, no. (laughs) No, it, it was... Well, sometimes they ha- lately have been getting sponsors, candy sponsors. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't know that. So, like, I remember, like, Craisins, uh, um, oh, yeah. sponsored. That's right. And they so you even get, like, chocolate-covered cranberries, which I loved, but yes. Yeah, I remember there were different types of boxes. So, like, when I worked there, um, I worked the night shift because I was going to school at the time. And so I, I worked at the Haunted Mansion, and I did a shift there, and it was fine, but I didn't want to do it anymore because he had to put on the face makeup, and I didn't like that. So I started working the candy shifts, and I'd give away my shifts to the Haunted Mansion, which everyone loved me for, and I liked handing out the candy more because it was fun to see the guests happy, and I mean, how often do you get to give away hands full of, like, candy to people? and like, like, you are the cutest princess ever! Just and they, take it all! They do, and they have boxes of candies, like, just like, I don't know, they, they're just huge boxes in the back, ready to give away. And they, right. there's really no accountability. There's no limit, there's nothing. They just always like, make sure there's plenty of candy. Yeah. Like, and I had a radio, if we were running low on candy, to go run to another part, but just... It was well organized with their, like, candy, like, making sure there was just enough. And that was, yeah, the candy aspect, the guests should it's not be great. disappointed with what they get. And then another activity you could do are meet and greets. And they do special meet and greets, different, um, you know, characters that you don't normally see at the park, different villains. So which villains did you see? Because I never saw any villains when I was there. I was more for, like, other things. Like, I, you know, there's, of course, Jack and Sally, and then there's always, like, uh, Mickey and the gang all in their Halloween costumes, oh, yeah, right. which are usually a little bit different every year, which is always fun. Yeah, Minnie would have, like, a witch outfit, yes. and Mickey would have, like, a nice, like... Vampire. Vampire, yes. yes. So that's the classic. Like, Mickey Halloween. vampire, yep. And then, of course, Winnie the Pooh characters dress up. Yep, they oh, did. Oh, yeah, that's they super did. cute. And then, of course, you can meet all the villains, Gaston, Corella DeVille. Which is very rare. Yeah. These Villain. characters do not come out. Usually. Yeah. Yeah, because Corella DeVille is probably more common at Disneyland, but yes. at Disney World, no. never. Yeah, I remember seeing her and I was like, oh, she's good. Well, that's the one thing that's nice about Disneyland. Disneyland, you see a lot more of the uncommon characters. You see Don Canard, and it's like, the show had been <laughs> off for like 12 years. You're like, boy, they pulled that one out of the storage. But Disneyland, or Disney World. Disney no. World, no. Like, like Disneyland, like you'll see like the uh, Fairy Godmother show up. Yeah. Yes. But like Disney World? Where it's Cinderella's castle? No. It became more common when I was there. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, yeah, Fairy Godmother shows up. Cinderella's castle right there. But Maleficent will walk around at Disneyland and the Evil Queen. Yeah. Um, So, like, yeah, like, Disney World, it was not. Oh, yeah, Hades, that's a. You can meet Hades. You've got the Voodoo Man, Oogie Boogie. I remember Hook and Smee. Yeah, Hook and Smee. And Smee You'll meet, and like, um, Aladdin and um, Abu. Jane and Tarzan. I remember Jafar. Hercules they had, they had a Jafar being great by the Aladdin carpets. And so, like, uh, Jafar would, like, yes. interact with the guests when they were on the ride. So that was kind of fun, you know. So there's a lot of characters that you can meet that you normally don't. Disclaimer, those lines are very long. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, like, you'll get in line for one character, and by the time you get to the front of that line, they've already switched out, like, three or four times different characters. So What? Yeah. <laughs> They're not the same character? What? There's only one character. No, 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 no. no. no like, okay. they switch out the character. I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. You know, like... It's not the same, you know, character, you know, like the same performer. Oh. That's what I'm saying. What? <laughs> no, yeah, like, uh, you'll get in line and it'll be like, all right, Jasmine, we're all going to get pictures with Jasmine. And then by the time you get up there, like you'll be next in line and be like, 
all right, they're going backstage, and then Jeannie comes, comes out, out, and they're like, I want a Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> they do that at Christmas. They have, like, a boo and Jeannie come out, and I was like, that was, I've never seen, you don't see a boo very often. No, a boo. No. no. Well, because a boo's life size. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a little tiny. So, yeah, there's a ton of meet greets. The lines are long, so you kind of have to pick and choose what's a priority. If you do characters and a show, you will not ride rides. Nope. It's just, you have to pick between. And I always chose the rides and mm-hmm. just walking around seeing people. And I think, I think now at Disney World, they've kind of upped the rides during Halloween time. Yes, at Disney World now, like, they will put like uh, live, live pirates. pirates and Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. Um, yeah, and then they'll have, like... Um, Haunted Mansion characters outside of the Haunted Mansion. They had that when I was there. They'd have, like, yes. performers. They had uh, people telling stories. They weren't characters inside there, but they were, like, ghoulish-like characters. And at the Haunted Mansion, they'd have, like, the fog machine going. Like, serious yes. fog machine. Like, industrial level where, like, I remember working and just, like, coughing because it's just so much. Like, it's something out of a movie, how much is coming out. And that's yes. fun. At the Halloween party, they bust a lot of uh, fog. Yes. It's, you know, the whole river of America is all fog. Mm-hmm. And then you'll have, like, the, um, the oh, I forgot the name the already. The Cadaver Dance? Cadaver Dance on a float singing. How yep. fun. Um... And so it's just really cool theme and they have, like, Halloween, fun Halloween music. It's not, like, super creepy. They play the same songs <laughs> over and over. There's six songs <laughs> where I was at in Adventureland. It was like, come sail away, and someone's <laughs> watching me. It was just, like, 80s music. And so when you're standing there at the Swiss Family Treehouse... Well, Just I remember the same six songs. I remember over. walking through Frontierland and they were playing um, the Headless Horseman song. Yes. Oh, how fun! And so I was all like, when I remember walking around, oh, they they played Swamp Fox. Oh wow, Swamp Fox, Swamp Fox. Yes. Da, 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 da. No, I want to know where the Swamp Fox at. I was all like, whoa, that's a throwback. Right? Yeah, I I bet most of our audience do, doesn't know what the Swamp Fox is. If you do, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> Um, but I, you know, other than attractions being a lot shorter times, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the popular ones are usually like under 30 minutes. Mansion's busier. Mansion it, it, is and, always busier. It's, 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 it's the, it's the premier attraction of it's, the event. If you're going to the Halloween party, you will ride Haunted Mansion most likely. Yes. And what's fun about being a Haunted Mansion is, like I mentioned earlier, all the guests, or all not the guests, the cast members. cast members, they get makeup done. All of them. And so it was coveted to get your makeup done. And it's done by a professional makeup artist. It's not like us like putting on Rambo-style makeup. No, mm-hmm. they, they, they come in and they give you a slot for 15 minutes and they put on the makeup. And it's it's tough. Um, stuck on there because I remember trying to take it off before I got on there. And it looked like I was in Apocalypse Now or something like that. It was just some Vietnam-style uh, makeup, but yeah, it's 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 a hoot right there. Um, yes, it's it's like they said, it is the attraction to go visit. And it's the butlers are extra creepy to put cobwebs around them. Um, it's it's it is the premier attraction. That and maybe pirates. Yeah, I think they're pushing more on pirates to, to yeah, draw I people. We suggested that to put on face makeup for them, make them more deathly looking, and kind of pull yeah. some people to that corner of the the park. Yeah, but I think one of the main reasons why people go to the Halloween party are the shows. Yes. So you've got, yes. at Disney World, you've got the Boo to You Parade. It's great. And the fireworks show, which is amazing. Yes. So, you know, the Boo to You Parade has fun music. So it comes in, you have the Headless Horseman riding their horse. Which yes. There's, oh, my favorite story. It's not one of our stories, but it's one of my favorite stories I've ever heard told about the, the Headless Horseman, where this little girl is watching the parade, and she's she's asking her mom, like, Mom, why does that man not have a head? And a cast member leans in and says, that's what we, a cast member leaned into the girl and says, that's what we do to people who uh, steal. We, we, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. 
cry. And so the little girl starts crying, and so the cast member is trying to console her, and the little girl's like, I don't want that to happen to mommy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my Don't favorite. Don't steal from Disney. <laughs> that's one of my favorite stories I've heard about the the headless horseman on that parade. Yeah, so the headless horseman is really cool to see. Yes, he's holding a pumpkin in his hand and on a, a black horse riding down Main Street. You see, like pain and panic on a flow. That's and fun. what is it? The best is the grave diggers. So yes. The haunted mansion, the floor. haunted mansion, great shovels, Denver. and they've got a choreographed Denver. scene, and they smack it on the floor, and they like slice that. They got that sparks flying. It's the, it's the big. I, honestly, it's the big wow of the parade. Is it is the mm -hmm. haunted mansion grave diggers on that parade? But I've got a bone to pick with them. Oh, because all of them are dancers, and they're all in like good shape. They would have. They would wear the same costumes as a haunted mansion during that time period. There were no costumes of my size because oh. of those guys. Because every night they were taking them out and they were, they were dancing. They're sweating in them, and so I get there and I'm always wearing like a, a suit that's like too small or, or too, too big. big. So hey, share some for us there. Our us butlers need some good suit sizes, <laughs> you guys. But. It was funny because like I remember because like when I went this again this is way back in my day in 2006. Um, I think the parade wasn't that e even that old, and so I remember, like, like I watched the parade in Frontierland, and when the parade ended, I literally ran up to the front of the parade on Main Street and watched the parade, the same parade again. Um, and then as soon as the parade ended, I ran right into the Emporium shop, and I go, "Do you sell the music?" for the the boot you parade and they looked at me like why would we sell that <laughs> like and so like after that event like i went home and i went through websites that i probably shouldn't have been going to and peter went into the dark i went web. to the dark <laughs> web and, and found the Probably some of the best recordings of that parade music. Also, the Japanese laser discs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, and even to the point where like like our dad, who who's all about getting all that different Disney music, he listened to it and he goes, "Where did you get this?" And he like <laughs> asked me to give him the link to where I got the website. Like, and he's all like, "Oh, the website's down." And so like I had gotten. The Halloween music for the fireworks, the parade, as well as the Christmas music, and rest assured, you don't have to do what Peter. Is no, done. you don't have to. It's they, available. They sell it's it still now. Break the law. They they <laughs> sell now. I think I was like ten years later. They decided to release it in an album form because I'm sure it was in high demand. But that's what I had to do back in my day. It's <laughs> fun. Um, I actually had a friend that was in the parade, and I they were. Listen to that over and over and over for their part they're practicing. And so that song, as much as I heard it, I still like it. It's, it's still good. Song. It makes me smile. I am sad, though, they took my favorite part out. Which part is that? Now. It's the candy part. Oh, yes. Oh, the candy, candy. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Mom was obsessed because of you saying that. Yes. That was like, so back in my day, the, the parade <laughs> ended with Goofy uh, because he was kind of like He's the, the face Santa of candy for Disney. Yes. Yeah, the goofy. He was the face of candy, so they kind of dressed him up like a Willy Wonka character. And so they had that fun little uh, little verse for Boo to You about candy and stealing candy from your younger sibling. And <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. And that's how they ended the parade. And now I forgot what they replaced it with. And uh, yeah, it's not the same. So that's my gripe. Yeah, so the parade is a must-do. It's you go fun, to the Halloween especially with party. kids. It's, yes. They're going to be entertained. It's because one of the best everyone's parades. everyone's dressed up, I've you ever see seen. all the villains, and it's it's one of the top parades and then of we, Disney. And then we do a cast member preview before they like did the parties, and it was fun to go to that. So mm -hmm. like, it's good if they keep bringing it back year after year after year. And then after the parade, usually we'll have a fireworks show. Um, the, yes, I, they, I think it's it's a different name now. When in my day, it was called uh, Hallow Wishes, Happy Hallow Wishes. Hallow Wishes. Yes. Yes. 
and it's just fun because one of my favorite parts is like they shoot like green fireworks like all around you and mm. it's just like the haunted mansion part it was fun it was yes. it was fun music absolutely great show and they had dance parties Oh, yes, yes. The dance, dance parties, parties are Tomorrowland. famous for Disney. And the whole at Disney World, especially. Disney World. Not there's so much at Disney. I don't there's think. always a dance party at Disney World. There's like three of them. Yes. <laughs> they do. They have one in like. You can dance with Golden monsters Horseshoe or something like that. Characters. Yeah, they, yeah. You dance with the characters. That was that was always one they thing. They have like a disturbance. I feel bad for them. Those were the bad shifts to get if you were a Disney character because you go up there for like. 30 minutes, and you dance your butt off in that big old costume. Like, I feel bad for, like, uh, Bullseye and, like, Woody mm -hmm. and, like, Bu no, Buzz Lightyear was in Tomorrowland, but they would be in, like, the Diamond Horseshoe or whatever mm -hmm. in Disney World, and, like, they would have to dance, and I remember I had to go back to the stage and get the candy, and I would see them dancing, and I'm like, God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> and I would just, like, walk out. <laughs> just like, all right, that was enough, bye. Yeah, so there's always dance parties, but... The overall party at Disney World is great. I love it. I think it's worth the money. Yeah, to go. It depends. I in my so from from my research because again I haven't been to a whole bunch of parties since 2006, but I stay up with the Disney news and and opinions, and so it's one of those things where it depends on how often you go. So if if you've never yes. done it. It's worth it. It's worth it. If you've gone multiple times. I recommend wearing times. a costume that yeah, first that time. Because you really feel like you're part of everything. Yeah, if not, you're kind of just this, like, wanderer. Yeah. Yes, when you're not wearing a costume, you kind of feel like, oh, I'm left out. You, yes, I get that feeling. I'm like, oh. Like, so so if, if, if you've gone, like, every single year, it may seem stale. Yes, because it doesn't change much at Disney World. Really. I think they did recently. I think last year they updated it. Yes. Um, and then obviously this year it's not happening. Yes, due, unfortunately due. COVID ruined Halloween at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> and what else would have they ruined? They <laughs> ruined quite a bit. <laughs> a lot has uh, been, uh, the dust hasn't settled on that. So but. hopefully next year there will be a Halloween party. Yep. Here's hoping. But... And then, of course, Disneyland, they've started a Halloween party. It used to be at the Disneyland Park, which I've attended. But last year, they moved it to California Adventure. Which was like, what? Yeah, people didn't understand. They, they moved it because uh, Star, Wars Land Star Wars Land was opening. And so they didn't want that to... They didn't want to close Disneyland Park down for the special ticketed item because they wanted because they knew people were coming for Star Wars Land, uh, Galaxy's Edge. But I also heard they were trying to push it over they to, to DCA they wanted because DC. they wanted uh, Disney's California Adventure to have more attendance. They wanted more appeal, and from what I saw, I think they did a spectacular job. Did they? Yes, yes but let's go back to Disneyland. And it's pretty, the overall Disneyland Halloween party is pretty similar to Disney World. You've got treat trails, special meet and greets, low attraction times. Um, the shows are different. Yeah, they the, have different fireworks. The parade is, I would say, more focused on villains. Yes, it's definitely far more villains. It's like March of, the, March of the Villains. Yeah. Yeah. It is a, I would say it's a... Darker Disney parade. Yes. It doesn't have the same fun music. Um, but it's so cool. If you love villains, it's a perfect parade for you. Um, and the fireworks show, when it was at Disneyland, was different. Yes, yeah, it's a little different. There are some parts that are the same, same. but for the most part, it's, it's, it's different. Um, but last year, it got moved over to California Adventure. The Oogie in. Boogie Bash. Oogie Boogie Bash, yes. which I have not attended, but I have seen videos of it. Looks spectacular. It looks amazing. So they do like a world of color kind of like show? Yes. Yeah. So uh, for shows, obviously they don't do fireworks show at California Adventure, but 
They do World of Color. They do the parade. The parade is the same that was at Disneyland. And the um, they have trail treats that are interactive. Yeah. So instead of so somebody eats your candy for you. <laughs> so so like instead of like meet and greets with a bunch of the villains, they put the villains as part of the 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 treat trails. Okay. And they have so mics, and they'll be talking they'll interact to you. With the guests. Um, so you'll have like as they walk by. And I think Oogie Boogie last year was in the animation building. Animation building, so they had all the screens all Nightmare Before Christmas. Was a new character. And um, you know they have the Evil Queen talking to guests. Doctor Facilier. They mm-hmm. had Maleficent. Good characters. Uh, they had Ratcliffe from yes. Pocahontas. You know, he, was he pops there. in once in a while. I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, okay. But I think, like, the big thing last year that yes. was huge, and I hope they do it again because I want to pay and experience it, is in the, like, uh, what is it Redwood, called? Redwood Creek Challenge. Yes, which in the daytime, it's just kind of like a giant playground for children. Yes. Um, to just run around, which is great for parents if you want to just sit. Um but it's frowned upon if you're an adult. <laughs> Stay away from our kids! <laughs> well, they have a ton of, like, rope climbing things, and it's not fun as an adult. <laughs> um, but at night, they turn it over. It's like... It's like Villain's Grove or something? Yeah, it's called Villain's Grove, and it's broken up in, like, different villain themes. They have lights everywhere. So, like, the, you don't actually see any villains. Yep. It's all... Um, lighting effects. Yes, they have and projection, pro- projection after. and fog, and it looks really cool. It's probably from you know research I've done. They say it's probably the most magical thing Disney has ever done. Yeah, like it, and for the Halloween parties. Oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free, look it up. I think it, yeah, I think it's called Villains Grove. Villains Grove. It's it's crazy. Like it's, you awesome to look at even on video cool music very eerie it's Um, if you want spooky halloween vibes villains grove is it because other than that disney keeps it very light and fun disney halloween which i love i love the light fun nothing bloody which you you get more of that in cars land because cars land is fully decked out in halloween as well Yes. Is it like red asphalt where they just show people with dead bodies, <laughs> cars running over them? No. No. No, the cars dress up in costumes. Okay. So you've got like a spider car. That's, that sounds really cool. Yeah, I was like downing. I was like, ooh, DC, ooh, no, And I, I was, like, was oh, that I, I thought that actually. too because I had experienced Halloween party at Disneyland oh. and loved it. Go ahead. But when they when I heard the announcement they're going to California Adventure, it's like I don't know how good this is gonna be, but I will go. <laughs> Probably the premier thing, in my opinion, is the themed overlay for the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction. Oh, we did do that. Which is That's not fun. just the Halloween party, but they do it. Outside. Outside. Uh, on non-Halloween party nights, just after a certain... I think it's after time. 6 o'clock. Yes, after 6 o'clock, which so is... So much fun. So fun. It's basically Screamo music, I would say. No. That's, no, I would not say Screamo oh. music. I would just say, like, more of a heavy rock Yes. Uh, music. Nothing more than the Red Hot Chili Peppers overlay. Of, yeah, so, so basically... It's an expansion on the story. So if you've ridden the ride before, um, it tells the story of uh, Rocket getting his friends, the Guardians of the Galaxy, out of the Collector's Museum. Well, the Halloween overlay is the event, the effects of what happened in that first storyline. So in the first storyline, they basically turned everything into chaos they let all the monsters out and so all the monsters are free and so you're trying to um escape escape again but there's a lot more monsters and a little scary the drop sequence is different and the so much fun and the cast members are like freaking out because they're like 
oh. and they're looking for monsters. Yeah, they're looking for monsters. They're like, right, they're walking around with flashlights. Yeah. Yeah. And like the whole setting, like it's just flashing lights. So probably not best for those who are sensitive those, to that. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Mom, sit out on this one. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, but you don't have to uh, buy a ticket for the Halloween party to experience that in the month of October. Oh, right. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That's my favorite ride. Yes. During that, I love that overlap so, at that time period. And you only get to experience that at night, not yes. in the daytime. Yes. It's like after 6 o'clock, right? Yes. yes. So definitely try to get that and those fast, fast passes pass. are quick. It's like yes. weird. Like People are like gaming it. They're like watching, okay, fast passes are 415, and then... 5.55, and then boom, 6 o'clock hits, and it gets, like, they're gone. They're gone, so keep an eye, get those fast pass, it's worth it. Um, and then, of course, the shows, the parade, right, which we um, talked about, and then World of Color, which is pretty similar to the normal World of Color, but it's just different scenes projected. So, alright, we'll wrap it up. As far as if they, when they reopen the Halloween party, are you going, buying the ticket for the Halloween party? Or are you skipping, just enjoying the fall atmosphere at Disney? Or if you've been, let us know uh, some memorable moments that you enjoyed from the Halloween uh, uh, mm -hmm. party that they've had. Yeah. So, next episode, we are doing a movie review of Focus Focus. So, watch the movie before and... And then join um, us. And join us. Or I'll put a spell on you. Ooh. No, you're mine. Thanks for follow. Uh, thanks for listening to us. And follow us on fa Instagram and Facebook. Email us at matterhornyolers at gmail dot com. So. And tell your friends. Tell your friends. Share if they love Halloween and Disney. Um. So thanks for joining us. And have a spooky day. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember before your bobsled comes to a complete stop to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs>